this is John Lear, and today is March 22nd, 1989. We're standing just about uh, eight miles due east of Groom Lake, Nevada, the super government uh, secret test site. And just a few minutes ago, we saw one of the government uh, uh, extraterrestrial UFOs fly over there. Uh, we all watched it for about uh, <clears throat> seven or eight minutes. Right here, I have my Celestron scope. Uh, it's eight uh, inches. And I had, uh, I had it focused in for about 15 seconds and saw for myself that, in fact, it was a disk. <clears throat> We're going to uh, uh, stay here for another couple hours here to see if we can show you folks uh, an actual uh, extraterrestrial flying saucer being uh, flown by the government. So if you just stand by, and uh, we'll be looking over that mountain, which is where they are. They also come over here, which is over at Bald Mountain. There's some lights over there which you can't see, but they are a number of trucks. We don't know whether they're looking down here or <clears throat> what they're doing up there, but we managed to get in here. Uh, we're standing on public land. It's uh, completely legal where we are. And if you'd like to uh, come here later in the show, we'll tell you exactly how to get here. Well, you can mention who's with you, John. Uh, we have Bob Lazar, and we have um, Jackie uh, Lazar, Bob's wife, and we have Gene Huff. And this mission was organized tonight uh, by Bob Lazar, who is a, uh, a, um, a theoretical physicist who works at Groom Lake. <laughs> <laughs> and is also a dead man at this point. <laughs> We're having this on film that he wrote yeah, it. All right. <laughs> I'm happy. You want your name on there that you're a <laughs> yeah. We're out here with the late Bob Lazar. Damn it.